Hello and welcome to Two Lev's Garage. Today I have been working on getting my truck ready for Hot Rod Power Tour. And anyway, one of the tasks on there was replace the heater core. Now, this is the old one. As you can see, one of the pipes is missing. And we've been steaming the windshield with this. This thing needs to be replaced. So, I decided to break that off into its own video. See if it helps some of y'all out. And I'm no mechanic. I've got no mechanic training. I've got no mechanic experience. I just love old cars and I'm a cheat skate and I learn to do stuff myself. And if I can change a heater core, you could change a heater core. Now this truck is a 1980 F100, same as a 150, literally. And this is a non-air conditioned truck. If you have an air conditioned truck, I know that there's going to be some differences in the process, but this is a non-air conditioned truck. So you don't have nearly as much to mess with. Also, six cylinder, eight cylinder, doesn't really matter if this truck specifically is an eight, but if you got inline six, really the only difference I can think of is your heater hoses probably be a different length. So anyway, let's get started. <coughs> All right, so like I was saying, this was originally just supposed to be part of another video where I was like, yeah, I changed the heater core. But I decided, you know, it might be able to help some people, so I broke it off. So anyway, what you got is right here, right here, you got a couple of screws, or lag bolts, I guess I should say, that go in and they hold it in. You also got two down here, and then where these wires are run through, there's actually a carriage bolt that goes into the cab and there's um, a hidden nut back behind the glove box. You probably have to take the glove box liner out to get to that, but whoever had this truck for me, they just cut it out, so I just used the whole to port these wires into something else. You also go want to unhook right here these terminals that go to your blower and there's one down here that goes to um, whatever that is but all right so I did some research and evidently this is a carriage bolt here that goes into the dash it appears that somebody has done this before and removed some bolts and never put them back so I did also find it appears there is actually a bolt here somewhere. See if I can feel it. Yep, there it is. There is one down there, way down there. So it's that one. Let's see if I can find any more. It led me to believe there are a couple more down here. I've also read you gotta remove this cowl to get rid to get to some of them. I don't know if that's on air conditioned only units or this one just don't have. I don't know, but I mean, we, we certainly I'll have to go in there. It doesn't seem like. And I'll tell you another thing: I'm not going in there. So anyway, see if I can't figure out how I get to that hidden bolt and get this out so I can change the heater core. Alright, so up at the fender wheel here, the other thing that the previous person did was they drilled a couple holes in that inner fender. And th this one's actually got a piece of tape over it. So this one, it wasn't perfect. I had to use a swivel, but I was able to utilize this to get the bottom bolt out. And then the other one, you got to get from inside the cab. Alright, so inside the cab here, right here is where the bolt comes through to bolt, bolt in the heater box from the outside. The other one is up here back behind the glove box liner, but like I said, mine's missing and I really don't think you need it. Considering how close that bolt is to right here. Like I said, I end up just using mine as a port, so... 
anyway, that's that. Anyway, so now if we got the heater pots out, somebody at some point jerry rigged this thing. <laughs> they actually bored a hole in the inner fender right here. And I'm guessing that was to get to this bolt right here a little easier. And I must say that utilizing their whole hilt, I think I'll try to find something to plug it, make it a little more attractive. And also, I can guess right here is the, where the stud go, that goes into the um, cowl area is. And yeah, but somebody zinged that off. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the proper thing. I, like I said, I'm not sure what the best plan of attack to get to this upper one is. Because I just didn't have to. Maybe from the heater box on the inside. I don't know. But like I said, somebody else already zinged it for me, so... I'll just go with that. There's a bolt right here, so I don't really think you need that. So anyway, I need to disconnect the cable just cause, well, I might have to go through all the rigmarole to replace it. And it looks to me, like I said, this thing's been jerry-rigged, but there's three screws holding this in. I might have to separate this box right here, but I really don't think I am. Anyway, let me get those five sixteenths boogers out of there. Or eight millimeter, but one of the other. And I've said this on some of my other videos. This is the best $60 I ever spent. If you don't have one of these, they're not that expensive. The Warp Pro, I can tell you, is pretty good. They're not paying me to say anything. But, um, I really like it. That's helped me a lot. All right, got this Z-Bar here. Got lots of rust on it. I think I'll rebuild that while I got it out. Yeah, I am going to have to separate this so well. No biggie. Oh, there went that battery. it's missing one of these things so that's that was the big deal in getting this one out all right go get a new one and dump these leaves out for goodness sakes all right new heater core yeah, she slides in there nicely Now this, while I got out, I really want to just put a coat of paint on it to, I don't know, nobody will ever see it, but I'll, I'll know. I just won't be real picky about the color. I mean, I'll use whatever the first can is I see. All right. I wasn't kidding when I said I was going to use the first color I found. This is touch-up paint from my Pontiac Tempest. Why don't you just fab this? Still a little tacky. Maybe I should wait for it to dry, but I'm not. All right. All right, so we got that on. Now we just put this back together. Anybody know what this 34 means? in the comments. Alright, now. So these two are pretty straightforward. The one from the inside, I'll show you in a minute, 
And then down here, this is a pain in the neck, but it's doable. <sighs> this is the aggravating part. Right there, that is where you bolt in the heater core. That's the nut on the back. And I'm guessing somewhere up behind the glove box, is there that other one that somebody cut off is? I'm not sure, but nonetheless, this is where it is. And just need a deep well to get to it. I find that both a 3 8 and a 10 millimeter worked on it, so not really sure which one it is, but they both worked, so. Anyway, that is that. So we got the new one in. All we need to do now is hook it up. So when I knocked the hose attachment off, I just looped my heater hoses. Pretty typical, a lot of people do that. So now it's time to just unloop it and put it back. <laughs> Free. Now bad thing is when I did that, I had just put brand new hoses on. Good thing about that is I can just use this one. Now if I remember right, these are not size specific. So go ahead and Get this one on here. Slide that as far as I can. And do the tighten up. Now, just go into my inventory and find a piece of heater hose. Maybe even see if I can find the one I took off here. Alright, so I can't find the hose that um, I took off it when that thing broke. I may have used it for another project, who knows. But nonetheless, <laughs> this is how I buy heater hose. Alright. Stick that on there. And just cut it off right there. Now that I've confirmed the length, confirmed everything I need to know, let's go find some clamps. Let me see. No good.
that's a mess. Heater hoses are hooked up. Over here, just gotta go clip everything back together. And the way these are laid out, I do think it's different on different years. However, this one that's just male, female on one side and female, male on the other. So, you can only get it one way. And there you go. Heater is back together. All right, so like I said, I'm no mechanic have no formal mechanic training and I have never changed a heater core before. I just changed this one. Took a little time, a little aggravating to get some of those bottom bolts, but it's very doable. So I always say these repairs, maintenance, whatever items, if I can do it, you can do it. I got confidence in you. So anyway, if you find this helpful, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button. They do help the channel out a lot. Let me be able to bring y'all some content like this to help y'all out. So, anyway, back to getting this truck ready for power tour. I'm looking forward to going this year, and that's one little thing just knocked off my list. I thought it deserved its own separate video. So, anyway, until next time, take care of yourself, take care of each other, take care of your projects. God bless, and I'll see you again soon.